I came from Bosnia 16 years ago. I've been living in Boise for the last 16 years. She works really hard. She's good at her job. I think she is really nice. And I think she takes care of my family and me and my brother. And she's really huggable. She works at the airport. I'm really not embarrassed of cleaning. It's a honest job. It just, you know, like everybody else's, you know, like uh, you just have to make a living. And I do enjoy when I clean. It just makes me happy. It's not like, you know, you know, people have like this um, thing like thinking if you clean, you're not smart enough. Or I don't care about that. I know who I am and I don't want people, you know, I mean, they can take whatever they want. This is me, I enjoy my job, and I always choose. I used to work in dealers in uh, selling clothes, and it wasn't that something that I really like. There is so much uh, good people that they, you know, really appreciate what you do because they admire you, that you do. That's a hard working job, and it's not so pretty sometimes, not pretty sights. <laughs> When I clean the restroom or I change the paper and stuff and I like to start conversation because the paper rolls, it's from one side and I'm always like, uh, uh, I apologize, I'm sorry, I don't, you know, I'm not a crazy person, I'm just here to change the paper. So I start conversation and the people are like, oh, thank you so much, I appreciate what you do. I really enjoy working with my co-workers, we always make it more fun, more enjoyable, you know, when we go to lunch we would crack the jokes and stuff. If we pair up in the bathroom sometimes we just, you know, working and laughing. I always wonder if somebody listening up from outside. <laughs> My mother always raised me that not to, not to be, you know, be um, ungrateful and think that you deserve things. You just have to work hard for everything and be appreciative of what you have. She has like four or five jobs. And she cleans a lot of houses. You have bread on your table, what else you can, and health, that's the most important thing in, in my mind. Your health, if you don't have health, you simply don't have nothing. I choose to be perfect because it's just, it's, it's up to us if we're gonna be grumpy all day. The other day this, this guy was like, I said, it was a really big snow that day. And I was like, how are you doing today? And he's like, Perfect, Melka. I said, see, it's contagious. I make you feel perfect. I'm going to change this place.